What is up guys, Gail Wright here. Welcome back to the YouTube channel and today we're gonna be doing the seventh zone in Danmachi Memoria Freeze. I'm gonna be explaining to you guys exactly what this stage is for and why you should be doing it week in, week out, along with just some tips and tricks about how to handle the seventh zone. Now, of course, if you guys want to enjoy this video, hit that like button and of course subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more Danmachi Memoria Freeze content, it would be greatly appreciated. And of course, I know a lot of people have been asking for it. The team building guide will come out in the coming week. I have been, unfortunately, a bit busy this last week because of certain things that have happened IRL, aka me getting hacked. So I've been trying to control that situation. Of course, you guys saw some uploads. They were already pre-recorded, hence why it was fine. But yeah, of course, I needed to be make making sure that, you know, I was secure, basically. Um, so today, we're going to be tackling the 7 zone. And I'm going to be tackling the fire zone specifically today. There will be another video on the light zone tomorrow. Now, I've already tried recording this video, hence why, you know, I've already cleared it. But I wanted to make sure I was a little bit more clearer and a little bit more straightforward when it came to how you need to deal with the fire zone. So let's talk about it, right? So once you get into this menu, once you activate the seven zone, you see two stages. It's always two stages, week in, week out. The only things that changes is basically instead of the light zone, it can be a dark zone or a wind zone or an earth zone. And same with the fire zone being something else. Along with that, there is a possibility that the boss stages are actually AOE based. So what I mean by that, there will be multiple enemies instead of single enemies. So right now, this week, we have two single enemies, one being the light zone and one being the fire zone. So they will be light and fire respectively. Now, in order to counter these stages, what you need ideally is the opposing typing. So I don't know why I said it like that, but you need the opposing typing effectively. So for the fire zone, you would need a water unit. For the water zone, if we do get it next week, you would need a thunder unit. For thunder zone, you need earth. Earth, you need wind. And for wind zone, you need fire unit. So that's the type chart, basically. Again, it's super simple to understand. And for light zone and dark zone, you would need the opposing typing of that. So light, you need dark. And for dark zone, you would need light. It's as simple as that, right? Okay, so the rewards you get from this are twofold, right? So your first clear reward is the most important one. So the moment you clear the stage with any rank, B, A, or S, you would get two types of material. One being the sharp carbonado, which effectively gives you the accessibility to ascend your weapons. Very important, right? That is the most important one. Now, of course, this week it was on the fire zone, which is why you can't see it, but it's the blue material, basically. On the other side, you have the Ultra Muffin Rock, if I'm not mistaken, or Ultra Mafic Rock, sorry. The Ultra Mafic Rock, which is basically the Ascension item for armor pieces. Again, very useful. I would say if you had to do any one of the two stages, focus in on the weapon one, because the Sharp Carbonado one, the blue item one, because there are so many weapons coming out. Every time we get a new character, there will be a new weapon for said character, right? Especially if they're an adventurer. So you want to just try and get as many as you can because in my opinion, that's the one that you are running out of the most. So you want to just try and get that. Of course, ideally, try and do both. You get some, you get a decent chunk of virus from it. I say a decent chunk, you get like five, four or five and depending on your score, you get an extra 10 or 20 basically, but it's still handy to have. And on top of that, if you rank up in a really decent position, which you won't because the ranks are too hard for a lot of players to get, you're probably gonna end up being in the top 5,000 maybe. Um, you get some good Mystic Bellow and hammers basically for you to rehammer your weapons again these ranking rewards i would say is something you can easily ignore because all of these items are effectively farmable right it's nothing you should worry about your main focus should be just trying to get the clear off all right so let's go into it and i'll explain why exactly do you need a sort of correct team for this situation so right now i have my fire team set up right and I'm going to show you exactly why you would need something. So I'm going to remove skill flow and I'm going to do this on my own effectively for now and just show you guys exactly what I mean by why you would need ideally a water team. Now, of course, I think my team here will be able to do fantastic purely because, well, one, it is a fire team that is max limit broken. All the assists are really strong, right? So in a way, I'm in a very good position here. But... At the same time, a lot of players, a lot of starting players especially, right, 
they will be playing the game uh, with a lot of plus two units, plus three units, right? So it becomes a lot more trickier for a specific reason, and we'll get onto it in just a second. So let's start off, let's continue, uh, let's just buff up our characters and just go in straight away. Um, our main goal is to finish off uh, the event. Oh god, what happened there? That's new. One second. I did not realize that. Did I not give my uh, units uh, armor? Probably why. That's probably the reason why. Because I was I was a bit surprised about the amount of damage they were taking. Oh boy. Yeah, no armor. That's probably why. Armor is very important. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use breastplates because I want to show you guys something. I was wondering like, wait, what happened there? Why why are you taking so much damage? Um, Let's put Desperate back on you as well. No weapon as well. Uh, look at me. I'm a washed Danmachi YouTuber and I've just started uh, making Danmachi YouTube videos. Uh, Alright, we'll just stick with all of these and we'll go from there. Alright, we'll, we'll stick with these and go from there. Okay, beautiful. But yeah, um, to just start us off with, we're going to just start buffing up our characters. Let, we'll do it the normal way. The start of all of these battles are just normal. There's nothing you need to worry about in terms of like... You know what does the opponent do or anything of that sort your focus is just trying to be able to get your buffs out get the debuffs off and go from there effectively right it's nothing too crazy so we'll do this and then we'll just go for the attacks right now and we'll wait until uh haruhime comes onto the field so we'll do that and uh yeah we'll just do, we'll just go with that there we go awesome stuff all right beautiful so yeah okay now 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 they, I don't know if you noticed it, he just buffed himself. When he did that small motion, he buffed himself and you can see exactly how he buffed himself. He increases his element resistance to a high amount. Now, of course, you can see the fire res is only 55% and that's because of what I've done. I've reduced his resistances that much. It's the same with the resistances on the top as well. They are all done by me as the player with the assists I have, the buffs and debuffs I've had. That's how it's happened. The rest of it is super high. Again, it's so tricky. If you don't have a team like this and the power to try and counter it as best as you can, you would it would become nearly impossible. You're better off taking water units in this run specifically. Now, of course, this is just primarily for us to, you know see for ourselves how we would be able to counter this but again like i said it's just so 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 tricky right it's just not a uh, it's not an easy thing necessarily also i think i made a mistake there i, I meant to use blade hammer actually purely because it gives uh fire damage and magic and stuff like that so let's do that um again and uh we will continue just buffing ourselves up let's go all right, beautiful. So yeah, effectively from here on out, it's just a normal fight, effectively. You just gotta be sure. The main thing is you wanna just make sure you're effectively not falling foul of running a team that will not be able to kill effectively. Because you only have 20 turns as well. Right now, I'm on turn five and I'm just relaxing because I know that in I'm, I'm most likely will be able to kill. Like, I'm gonna switch off the icons because I don't need him. Um, and I'm already, you can see, like, even though I have the units, also you guys notice the stun. I'll talk about that in a second. But the, you can see the, uh, you can see me uh, not doing enough damage. Like, even with plus five units on very hard. Yes, I should be able to clear this within like turn 10 easily ideally but here i'm not doing that i'm absolutely just not doing that and uh, of course like you guys saw there this guy can stun these guys can stun so you want to run stun anklets on all of these guys no matter what um it'll just come in handy okay i'm gonna bring it back up uh and we'll use uh tiona's uh, uh, uh ability where she can remove the debuffs there we go all right beautiful and uh, we'll, ju we'll just keep attacking like this. There's no real reason for us to stress on about this, honestly. Um, and then we'll use her... We'll use the... Uh, uh, what's her face? Uh, Haruhime's... Uh, Haruhime's uh, special skill. Also, I know I've built up my 4 SA. I probably could have finished this off much faster. But I am trying to uh, also uh, preempt the buff whenever he buffs. I'm not sure about the turns he buffs. You can usually just see... He always buffs at the end of the turn, so you don't really do much like pre-turn. Pre so you don't have to worry about that front. So let's see how much damage we do here. Um, as you can see, once you get your essays off, it's a lot easier to deal damage on this guy. It's not really problematic. But again, you're not gonna, as a, as a younger player, you're not gonna be able to do this sort of thing where I can beat him with just a fire team and just go up against the grain, right? It's not smart at all. I would not recommend doing this at all. 
your ideal way of doing it is taking a water team, right? And that's what I'll probably do in the next run is I'll do a water team. And the thing is, I feel like if you're doing a team without an element, you'll be able to do normal and hard very easily in my opinion. It's just very hard is the point where you want to try and actually, uh, you know, make sure you're, uh, you know, dealing the damage. That's pretty much it. Like, again, I'm probably going to have to wait until I get my essays back up to be able to finish him off. Because I don't think I'm going to be able to finish him off like this. No way. There's no shot. I'm, I don't think so at all. So we're going to just have to do, be patient again and just wait and uh, let it run. Let it run, basically. Let, we'll have to just let it run, basically. We'll just have to let it run. So yeah. It's still not an issue though, again, like I said, if you can take the time and you can try and do it, I would say give it a shot. Because the main thing is you want to just try and get the first clear, right? It doesn't matter if it takes you 19 turns or 20 turns. As long as you can kill, that is the main important thing. And obviously, as long as you do that, that's more than fine. Now, of course, I don't want to use a Haruhime skill, so all I need to do is get to 3 SAs and we'll be fine. I think we'll be able to clear it on turn 16, I think. Because next turn, we should be able to bring it back up. So there we go. And uh, let's let her rip. And we'll let him attack a little bit here and there. And then we can just launch our essays again. There we go. And that should be curtains for this guy. That should be curtains for this guy. Again, super, super uh, challenging in the sense of like, he just had st so much resistances that, you know, it kind of invalidates all your power from other units. And it requires you to have teams of different elements and this is the big issue i feel like when it comes to the design of seven zone is it requires you to be a veteran player easily it 100 percent does because even with like plus three uh, other element units you won't be able to beat it you need on element teams and you can run i think in my opinion even if you have plus three or plus twos of other elements they're better than the plus five it'll get you cleared faster right that's in my opinion as you can see it was literally half my score right now I want to take a water team. Let me take a water team into this phase. Uh, let me take a water team into this phase and we'll go from there. So I have a couple of water units that are really, really good here. So we'll just take them. And uh, actually, you know what? What I'm going to actually do is I'm going to change it up a little bit. I'm going to take the uh, I'm going to take my AOE water units that I usually take for water teams um, and we'll go from there. Now, one thing I want to do is I'll change I'll, br I'll bring in one single target unit just to bring the single target unit in effectively. Um, so let me do this. I'm going to switch uh, you out and we'll do this one second. I want to make some adjustments here, please. And thank you. Thank you. Wait one second. Why am I? I'm not switching it around. God damn it. Uh, all right. There we go. We got we got there in the end and uh, we will do one more thing as well. I will bring, uh, I'm trying to think in my head, what do I bring as an additional unit that would be really good for this fight? Um, I think, you know what, I'm going to bring you, I think. We'll bring him. We will bring him. He'll still be useful and uh, handy, so let's bring him in. Um, all right, let's go. Let, let's see how it goes now. Now is the time for you guys to see exactly what I mean by, oh, you need on type units right you do need on type units now again i hope i've not messed up and taken actually given them the uh, armor pieces but we should be fine in theory we should be fine so let's do this uh let's do this and then let's do submersion there we go let's do this that way we're getting the debuff on him already and we obviously have beast killer so it's a little bit cheeky in all honesty i'm being a little bit cheeky um or we not beast killer but a killer ability effectively so if we're probably gonna take some uh we're gonna probably take a lot uh, we're probably gonna deal a lot more damage i should say so it's a little bit cheeky in that regards but it's fine all right let's just do this i want to see how much damage we do because i've never i've never tried the single target ones with my aoe team but this is a perfect example of why you would need on element teams effectively this is exactly the example we need we need for this um all right let's do this and then we'll just do this there we go i mean you can see the damage i mean it's you can see the damage is already much 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 higher than before again an example of where you do want to have a water team effectively like look at this we're already at half hp we're only on turn four there you go it's it's reason enough of course you can also make an argument of like oh my all my teams are so good in terms of like my water teams are plus five my fire teams are plus five you of course you're gonna go with the water team and that is true 
and it and that's what I mean. You it will just come down to a lot of trial and error. The thing is, this this run, Swiss Seven Zone, it doesn't take much out of you. It's not like if it's it's limited in any shape or form. You have a week to do it. If you spare a day, let's say, if you spare a day to effectively trial out and see what you know you can do basically. I, I think it'll be more than fine. I mean, I could probably just... Yeah, never mind. I was gonna say, I probably should use my essays, but I don't have to. I've already cleared it. I, I wonder if I'll get a higher score now because I did that. I'm actually curious. I think if I launched my essays, I probably would have gotten a better score as well. 24 million. I've already doubled... Uh, I've already increased my score by 5 million. There you go. So there you have it. It's, it's just about bringing the right elements, in all honesty. And if you don't have the right elements and you feel like it can't work, Try your best team out, see what you can do. Again, a lot of team compositions, to just give you guys an idea on, well, a team build basically, what you need is to make sure your units are getting all, all the buffs you need, like damage increase, or uh, the damage received on enemies is increased, so the damage they get is increased. You need to make sure they get resi uh, resistance debuffs. You've got to make sure you're getting resist buffs, you're getting SGR and magic buffs, you're getting the uh, re respective element typing buff effectively you need to look at all of these things and then take your team into the phase and then you can probably do it like i said the fire team managed to do it within 15 turns maybe it could have probably done it a little bit faster potentially who knows maybe if i did done the essays earlier uh from what you guys remember at the start of the video but overall just try and do it that's all i wanted to say about fire zone we will be doing a version of the light zone tomorrow where it'll only be the dark run today was kind of like a guide on how to beat uh the seven zone so the title of this video is how to beat seven zone but tomorrow's video will just be a guide on the light zone so be sure to keep an eye out on the channel thank you guys so much for watching this video once again appreciate all of you for tuning in Hopefully you guys have a lovely rest of your day. Leave a like and of course remember, subscribe to the channel. It'll be greatly appreciated and you'll see more Danmachi Memoria Freeze content. Until then, take it easy everybody. Bye-bye.